is potty about pottery. He's found his calling in the US. His art has featured in magazines and galleries, but it's in his home, he says, is where his work shines. My art is also my autobiography. Right, because it, it draws back to New Zealand for those things that I was raised with. Being so far away from home, do these pieces give a, a sense of connection? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, I like to think um, that they bring a spirit into our house. I think it gives it uh, a different sort of way to A. And, if nothing else, that's, that's very important to me. Well, my iwi is Ngāpuhi, but on my mother's side, uh, you know, the hapu for her side are Te Honihoni and Te Pōpoto. And then on my father's side, it's Te Whiu. Here's my, my little saying, uh, many are called, but Te Whiu are chosen. <laughs> <laughs> what brought you here? To America, to, to the United States? Yeah, so um, when I was just fairly new out of high school, they were looking for um, some young Māori people to go and work at the Polynesian Cultural Centre to be there as part of their uh, 10th anniversary celebrations. I ended up in Utah because there was an opportunity of getting uh, financial support um, at the university there, so I took advantage of that. When I was studying at the university, uh, it was pretty stressful. And a friend of mine says, oh, you know, why don't we go and take a pottery class? And I thought, well, OK, that might be something that might be possible. Because really, I had very little involvement in the arts, except in kapahaka and things like that, right? So I went to that the first class, and she didn't turn up, but it hooked me in right at the get-go. So that's where I learned uh, the craft part, the mechanics of pottery. Um, this one is more of an American Indian design, but it's not a design per se, but it represents feathers. So this would be something like, like a, a headdress. When I became um, involved in, a, in American Indian things, and there's some really beautiful things about, about their culture and what they do that uh, it's really provided you know, a, a sort of a home place for me. Well, now you might notice that I don't have any native designs, American Indian designs, on any of my pots, because you know that, that's their that's their property, um, and so I can put my own designs on and yet add something of American Indians with the pots. Being able to incorporate beadwork on it does give me that opportunity to to say that although I'm not American Indian. I, f I feel this very strong connection. Oh, this is um, Taranaki. And why? It's because this is a, the vo volcanic clone, a cone. This is the volcanic cone. According to some Māori historians, we have maybe 40,000 years of human history, and so I had 40,000 years to draw on. And so I started incorporating in my pots the stories that I was raised with as a child. And what does it mean to you to incorporate um, your, your own Māori stories into this work? Well, to be honest with you, and I hesitate to admit this, it gives me an edge over other artists. Let me bring this other one, only because I want to show it. Yes. Ooh, terrible age. No, that's great. So my brother Sam says that he doesn't ever want this in his house because it's too tapu. And this is um, Hine Ahuone, you know, and um, so in my mind, and I've, I've actually done a piece that represented, you know, and this sounds a little gutsy, Hine Nui Te Pō, but in my mind, if they don't want the piece to turn out, it won't. So I think she's kind of happy uh, being here, and I love, here, touch it. See, there's something very, very therapeutic about just touching her, A. Eh? Actually, she's probably my most famous piece. She's being represented in photographs and things like that. 
This one is probably most uh, representative of, um, you know, my, this part of my life, which has been here in Utah and been involved with the Ute people because this is a woman's traditional dancer. I just love uh, doing Hopi woman, number one, because their hairstyle is very distinct, right? And number two is because I can create these different poses. Now, I actually tried one time to actually stand like this, and it's not possible. Uh, being involved in art is a very spiritual experience. I like to think that for most of my pots, they create themselves. My spirituality is grounded in my art.